Today we're gonna to be installing functional lower brake vents on a C7 Corvette. This video is sponsored by ACS Composite, makers of quality accessories for your Corvette. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today Terry, John, and I are going to be showing you how to install functional brake vents on a C7 Corvette. As you guys all know, the Stingrays, they don't come with these vents and ACS has come up with a version that looks very, very, very similar to the, uh, the wide body car that actually has the vents and they make it available to you as a uh, as a functional version as well as the non-functional so if you're not taking it to the track and needing all that extra braking you can just get the the vent here like this and you can bolt it on and it just looks nice it just doesn't do anything um, or you can elect to go ahead and do it like we've done it here today on John's car where we've actually you're gonna see this in the video where we've actually cut the hole, and it's a pretty good sized hole, guys, and I made John do it. Since it's his car, um, we went ahead and we cut those. Um, so then it also attaches onto the factory vents that are already down there, and ACS supplies everything for you in the kit, and um, you'll, you'll be good to go once you're all set. So sit back and relax, and we're gonna show you how it's done. Uh, there's a little bit of variance between the two sides uh, because of what's behind each side of these vents, okay, or on the, on the inside of the car in this, in this rocker area. So anyway, sit back and relax, and we'll show you how it's done. So guys, you can see here John's taking the, the rear wheel off, um, and we have to do that on each side of the car to be able to get into the front wheel liner, which we're gonna remove those screws here in just a few minutes. We're gonna have John do the work on his own car. Now, since we are cutting a pretty good size hole, into this rocker panel right here. Um, and we're gonna be doing the, the functional version of these, uh, these vents. So these actually get the actual factory venting that's gonna come out into the, the uh, brake system. And um, so you'll see when we go to put the template up there that that's a significant hole. If you're just doing the standard um, uh, setup that's just non-functional then it's only drilling putting a template up there and drilling like three holes but uh, this is going to be the three holes plus a pretty good size uh, hole here what I got here is uh, my pre-painted torch red vents now these come uh, pre-assembled this piece will be separate from this piece if you get the unpainted version you know you'll be able to put it together once you paint it with two rivets but otherwise it, it, it comes completely assembled and painted if that's the way you go. All right, everybody, what we're gonna do is, because this is a functional vent, we're gonna have to cut this section out here so we can cut it out on the car. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut the main outline so we can make it easier on ourselves to put it on the car and tape it on there. All right, everybody, we got the template up here. As a general rule, this is a kind of a general outline. What you really want to focus on is these dashed lines right through here. They follow the contour of the body. If you, This is what you need to make sure you, that you line up. You can see them again down here and then again across here on this body line. This is the most important part of this template. Line these up perfectly, you'll have no problems. I'm going to take my magic marker and just kind of mark on the body. That'll give me my outline to cut out. Now guys, when you, you're also going to have three holes you're going to have to drill. Um, that's uh, right here, right here, right here. Now the instructions say that you should uh, go ahead and drill a pilot hole, um, but uh, you don't have to as long as you're just being very careful. Um, that's, um, back behind here, you're going to see this. We're gonna, one of the next steps is that we're going to end up taking these screws out of here, uh, this inner liner. And when we do that, we'll pull this inner liner back. The instructions also say that you can pull the, all the screws out. You don't have to do that. You can just go ahead and peel this back. You, it'll pull up back enough that you'll be able to get in there. Um, it's going to reveal the um, one of the uh, 
I guess it's the charcoal canister for the fuel evaporation system that's in there. And it's pretty close to the inside of this fender. So you'll see that here in a minute. But uh, so you don't want to be just blindly cutting, okay, on drilling. So you want to make sure that you don't hit something, okay? But we'll show you how that, how that goes next, okay? Now, guys, these are T15 torques John's pulling out here. And then I believe there's a couple 10 millimeter volts. There's one here. Is it just one? And then there's what one down at the bottom too, there's right? One there. You don't have to pull that. There's a two seven millimeters on the bottom. Two se okay, two seven millimeters on the bottom. All right. Okay. Yeah, right there. That one ten millimeter for the duct back here. Don't have to come out like right a second. Now you've got all your stuff out of the way, right? There we go. Yep. All right, now we can just get this up out of here. Okay. There you cool. go. Might as well hold it back. Now you can see that that's where that canister is at right there. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. So you see what I'm saying? You just don't want to be in here drilling and, and cutting blindly in here. You don't want to screw something up, okay? You can see there's wires running right over here next to the, the, next to the body. So you want to be careful, okay? As no, big as holes about it's gonna no, get though. No going back now. <laughs> All right, guys. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna test fit the the vent without the uh, the insert. Uh, by the way, this is if you weren't getting the active the active uh, braking with the active venting. Um, this is what you would be getting. It's just the three holes. This piece here in the hand. Here's the two rivets that we were talking about and you would just have this. But uh, here's the internal duct that we took off just so we can make darn sure that this lines up and everything's covered before we move forward. All right, we got our three holes here. We're gonna test fit this thing. There we go. Like a glove. Look at that yeah. line, that's perfect. There you go. All right, so now all of our all of our template marks are totally covered, so we know we're gonna have, that's gonna work just fine and nothing's gonna be visible. And then also, we're gonna be removing this piece of the, um, of the cover, of the protective covering, and uh, when John goes and cuts this across, it's just gonna go ahead and cut it right off anyhow, and then we'll be able to peel this piece loose, okay? So, um, I guess say goodbye to your quarter panel. Yep. <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't care. Say All shit. Right. We're gonna cut a big hole in it. Whatever you do, use safety glasses, people. I don't want to hear about no eyeballs being lost. And be sure you cut this very, 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 very carefully. I don't want to use the Dremel right here on this corner, so I'm going to use a drill bit to cut this little round, rounded end here. It'll make for a cleaner cut. He's trying to walk on me. In here just for a second so if you notice i leave little bits here and here and here that'll hold the place in 
so it doesn't fall out on you. You don't want to cut completely all the way around until you get ready to cut it, and then you can cut these little sections and let it come loose. It gives it stability, so it's not vibrating on your on your um, yeah. on your bit, right? Yeah. On the cutting tool. That and it holds it in place while you cut the rest of it out. So okay. Just a little tip. Spot right here in the corner, this side. There you go. All right, guys, there you go. It's cut out. We'll get us a little cleanup tool and clean the edges all up, make them nice and smooth. All right, guys, so now what John's doing, we're just heat, heating this, um, this little protective film up just a little bit. And that way we can go ahead and we can peel that off. It'll just, a little heat will help it. You don't have to pull this off if you don't want to, um, but it will make it look for a lot better finished product when you're done. And just go slow. Slow and steady, don't yank it, as if you yank it off real hard, it could possibly pull the paint off the body panel, so you just want to be careful. And there you go. Alright guys, now that John's done all the scary hard work here, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to assemble the, the venting that we've got here. What we found is that the charcoal canister here, the the, the charcoal canister that's mounted right here, um, I pulled it off. I didn't want to pull it back, put it back together, but it's, it's secured by two, mil, uh, two 10 millimeter bolts. Um, and there's one, one connector at the very bottom, and I just went ahead and removed the connector, removed those two bolts, that loosens it up so you can just let it hang here, okay? So, um, all the pieces, they'll, this probably will come assembled on your vent. And so you're going to want to take this loose. These are, I think, 7 millimeter screws. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to insert this little guy, the bottom vent, in through the hole here. Okay. So you're just going to drop it down through. Okay. The next step that you're going to do is you're going to take this piece, which goes in here like this, and we're going to tuck it in like that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to adjust, get this, this vent attached down inside, like that. Okay, now, as you can see right here, that leaves the tab here and right here so we can get our 7 millimeter screws back on. So we're leaving that in there like that. And now at this point, we can go ahead and take our outer, our, uh, outer vent and we can go ahead and we can put those on. Okay, just like that. Okay, we can put those on like so. And then we can take um, our seven millimeter screws here. Reach back here behind. And you might have to, might have to feel around a little bit um, to get it to line up. But, we found that this was the easiest way of doing it. There's probably a couple different ways to skin the cat on this, um, but it was, it just seemed like it was much easier than trying to fight it completely. Um, and you see it's, it's going together pretty easy. Uh, so this way, you're not gonna be fighting it, taking the chance of screw, uh, to scratch it or anything like that. Um, and all the venting actually will line up. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna tighten these nuts up here. Make sure we get those done. And then at that point, all we need to do now is to go ahead and put the, um, put the charcoal canister back in place. And that will be it. We're almost, we're almost in the home stretch here, guys. So 
I'm gonna tell you that this bolt right here, very easy to get to. This one's very easy to get to. This one down here is kind of a bear to get to uh, because of the air duct that's in the way. If you're doing a non-functional version, it's clear sailing, but you just, uh, you gotta be able to have that little bit of space there so you, you, um, you can work. So it'll be, take a little bit to get in there. If you've got small hands, it'll be really good. If you don't, maybe you have a son or a daughter who can help you get up in that spot. Um, other than that, uh, all we're doing now is we're just gonna go ahead and put the, uh, the charcoal canister back up in place and uh, plug it back in and then we'll be able to add put our factory duct right back in place and then we'll be done so uh, i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to put the canister up in place and then we'll be back all right guys now that we've got got everything all tightened up over here we've got our vent in place um, now there's one clip here now i don't know um, this little uh, retainer uh, did not come in the kit, so we're gonna we had some, so we're gonna go ahead and use it. The hole is already pre-drilled in the frame, as you can see right there, hopefully. Um, and you want to be able to re get this um, get this vent to be able to lock in. So this is the factory hole, just like if you had a Grand Sport or a Z06. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this little uh, retainer in. You can see that's just what they look like. They're the same ones that are on the rest of the car. So. You can go down to GM or you can go down to AutoZone or anything like that and pick one of these up. Um, probably does normally come with a kit and it just either I dropped it and lost it or they didn't include it for whatever reason. But um, So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to put that in. Okay. Just like so. Get that locked in place. Then at that point we can go ahead and we can put our, our inner liner back in place here. This little guy tucks up inside there. Okay, like that. And then at that point, you're just going to be going ahead and putting all of your screws back into the liner. Looks like I got this a little bit. This tucked in a little bit better over here. All right. Now I'm going to have to trim this out, this inner liner here, a little bit just to clear the vent. It's not a lot, but I'm going to have to trim it some. All right. So um, I'm going to get a razor knife and I'm going to cut that cut that loose. Just just around. Uh, John, if you can show them right here, just come around here. We're just going to cut down and around here. We want to maintain that, that uh, little spot there that's going to go into this screw. This one here, I've already started this one. This one goes and locks the vent in place. And then the rest of the screws are just like normal. Okay, so, um, and then, let me see, I have this one. I need to pull this one out a little bit better. There we go, it goes like that. Okay. But once we've got that like that and we get this cut, this will fit in there nice and neat. All right, guys. So you can see here I just had to cut a little bit of the trim of the inner liner off. That way I could tuck it up here like that. And then at that point, the only other thing that we have to do is we've got to put our original uh, vent back up here. Okay. And it just goes right here in place. It sits like that. And then it actually has a bolt that goes up right through the bottom into the frame there. I think you saw that when John was taking that loose. And then at that point, we're done. We just have to put these screws back in the liner and we're good to go. So you can see how that goes in there like that. Okay. And then we're just going to go ahead and get that little guy going. the longer black one that's going to go right up here. Make sure we get this lined up. Alright. And then all we've got is our bolts right along here. Or our screws I should say. And then we have our 7 millimeter here and here. And we're good. So let's go ahead and we'll get those done. Ok, 
Okay. All right, guys, we're done. So guys, you can see right here, this is what it looks like on this side. We're gonna be moving over to the other side. Oh, well, it sounds like John's already getting started on the other side. So uh, we're gonna jump over there real quick, okay? Hi, everybody. You guys all see Terry and I doing these installations on these videos as we show you how to go about doing it. And I'm always saying that if you guys don't wanna do this yourself, don't wanna tackle it yourself, to reach out and we'll give you a quote on how to do it. Well, a lot of you guys have done that, and in doing so, um, we are now very busy doing this, and we've actually turned this into a business. So, um, if you are needing anything done as far as, you know, like you've seen us do a front nose, you've seen us do wings, you've seen us do aero kits, all that type of stuff, reach out to us, we'll get you a quote. If you're in this area, man, we'll be happy to take care of you. Um, and we've also had some people contact us from uh, Florida, from Yosemite, from Los Angeles, and people are bringing their cars um, all the way as far as Las Vegas um, for us to do the, the work. So um, I haven't ever really advertised that. I always have just kind of in passing, I just say, oh, you know, if you want us to do it, reach out, we'll give you a quote. But we are fully going forward with that, and, and it's turning out to be a pretty pretty cool little deal. Um, most of the people know that by doing what we're doing, they know we know what we're doing because they've seen us actually do the work. And so I've actually offered people that have been far enough away, I've offered to say, hey, you know, be sure to tell your body shop, um, don't do this, do this, don't do that, whatever it may be, just to make sure that they don't do any damage to the car. And people are saying, no, nope, we just want you guys to do it. So. Um, if you guys knew, are in need of any of this type of work being done, let me know, reach out to me. I'm gonna get that information right here on the screen and we'll be happy to help you. All right, so <laughs> you could wait for us, huh? <laughs> you know, he's already got the template on over here like we did on the other side and he's got his holes drilled, so that's cool. So now he gets to uh, take that off and now the fun stuff comes um, of going ahead and cutting the uh, the hole like he did last time. Now, on this side, guys, um, he's already got the screws out right here, too, so he can pull this back. Um, and behind here, again, you want to be careful. There is a, uh, it's actually, let's see if I can pull this back for you to be able to show you. John's going to actually pull it completely out. But that reveals the parking brake actuator, in case you guys don't know where that's at. That's exactly what that is. So um, so he's going to have to make sure, and there's a little more room in here, as you can see, uh, a little more room in this side than there was on the other side uh, with the vacuum uh, canister, the charcoal canister. So anyway, he's, uh, he's going to have his tools here in just a second, and he's going to go ahead and, and cut that out. All right, guys, we're getting ready to cut out another hole in the side of the car here. Uh, don't forget your safety goggles. And uh, uh, I do this every day in my aviation job, so I'm real comfortable doing this. But you guys might skip and cut your paint, so it might be a good idea if you put some aluminum tape down here, a few layers over here just to protect your car's finish. Uh, if you feel comfortable, go for it. But I'm, I'm okay without it. So here we go. All right. Okay, so John's got the hole cut out here, and he's gone ahead and it had the protective film. And he's he's super excited about this. He keeps getting ahead of the game. He's almost like Terry, but you know how it has the a little bit of it, the protective film comes up just a little bit about like here. So he just took that off. Now you don't have to take that off if you don't want to, but um, since he cut it right here anyhow, it just literally just pulls right off. So. 
Um, I think in the other side, you saw us using heat gun. You didn't even need to do it. Um, it just peels off. So um, the next step is to go ahead and uh, uh, get the vent in there and start putting it all together. All right, guys, we're over here. We want to be able to go ahead and start assembling everything now that we've got, we've got it all cut out. And what we found is that these are originally designed actually that once you put this vent in and trust me this is the only way it's going to work easily okay you're going to put this vent in like so and it's actually going to attach to the bottom of the car here with one of the seven millimeter screws that you took off to be able to get the inner liner loose as well as this little clip that's already pre-drilled in the frame um, you are going to need one of the little uh, press clips and um, those are not included in the, the uh, kit, but uh, you can get these at AutoZone, um, any, of the, any of the parts places you can get those. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to insert this one in, into the hole here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to assemble this. I'm doing this outside so you can actually see it because it's going to be almost impossible to see totally inside. So now... If this, hopefully that you can pick this up. Now what happens here is this part, the body of the car is now, this piece will be on the back side of in here. And so you'll be seeing the body. Then what you're gonna do is it comes with two screws that normally mounts the inner vent to the outer painted part of the vent by doing screws out through here like so. And this happens to be one of the screws and if you look at that, this one will be very easy to get to when we go to do it. But this one here is virtually impossible now to get to at all. Um, I've fiddled, fiddled around and tried to be able to reach up in here and you can get to it if you only are using this piece of the vent. But once you've got this piece in, which you must have in place first, there's no room to get your hand back there. And there's a little metal loop that's right here um, for the emergency brake system that is right where you need to be able to get a ratchet or a wrench on it So it's virtually impossible to get there. I'm not saying that some of you can't do it, but I'm telling you I'm not gonna fight that so I'm gonna give you a little trick on how to deal with it. So you're gonna take that same screw and We're going to go ahead and we're gonna put this vent together Okay, we're gonna lock that vent hey, down. Hey, what are you doing, guys? Hey, Terry. He's back from vacation, guys. All right, so I told him that you were out and about yesterday. We're finishing up this video today, guys. Um, so what we did is we decided to go ahead and um, screw the vent together. All right, now we'll do that once this vent is in. We'll slide this one in place, and then we'll use that screw from the outside. Once we get that done, then by this being screwed here and this being screwed to the body here, this, this vent system is not going anywhere, okay? So you won't have to worry about this screw and you'll just be able to use the one screw up here and you're golden, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and, and, um, and then at that point you still have your three screws here that you can, you can get to pretty easily to be able to hook the, out, the, actually, the outside vent on. So then this thing is gonna be totally secure. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, but I just wanted to have you guys be able to see it before I did this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna put this inside. Now, one thing I did forget to mention here is that we have the, we have our original vent that's already there, which we, we just dropped down. There's two screws that hold it on. There's one right here and one right here. We took them off. We've got that sitting right here ready to go because it just makes it easier to have that off, put all this on, and then we can put this back up in the very, in the very end, um, and then bring your liner down, and we'll have to cut the liner to go around the vent, okay? So I'm just gonna set this stuff down, put this down in place like so, and bring this around, and I tuck this down inside, just like that, okay? Get our vent together like that. And this is a and this screw is included. Like I said, guys, it's normally normally the one that we're you would be using, but I'm not using that particular one. And take our our seven millimeter screw here. 
screw that together just like that. Okay. Then at that point, that's pretty much ready to go. So then at that point, we're going to take our, our painted vent over here. Okay. Terry's going to grab that for me. Okay. And now we've got one more of our smaller, let's see, our seven millimeter screws here that comes with the car or comes with the kit right here. Okay. And we're going to be able to start going to put our, put our holes in here like so. Now this little guy right here, this edge, you see, you see that John? Okay. That actually gets tucked underneath here. So we're going to like literally just push it kind of out. Okay. Like that. And then we're going to go ahead and get it down in the holes. Okay. Just like that. And then we can reach up. Let me get this one in here, Scott. Okay. There you go. There you go. All right. And then you can just feel, feel that inner, inner vent ear. It'll go into the, the outer vent. All right. So I got that started. All right. And now at this point, we just need our or three other nuts here. So I'm going to snug this up just a little bit more. You don't want to... Now this, this screw is not long enough to go through uh, through the body or out to poke out here. I did notice though that if you were to get a longer screw and try to fight this one down here that we are abandoning and not using, if you did get a long enough screw to make it work and then you tighten that screw all the way down, it's going to come right out of the bottom of the, of the uh, vent and you've just ruined it. Okay, so I'm just snugging this one up because this one is not going anywhere. Okay, just like that. And now we've got our three 10 millimeters. And I've got a Small little, almost zero clearance ratchet. If you have one that's totally zero clearance, that will work even better. And then I'm going to go ahead and start right up here at the top. Okay. Helps if we get it in the right direction. Snug that up real good. All right. Now the back one. We have to reach through. Let's see if we can reach through down here. You can get there as long as you don't have really big hands. Okay. Obviously, you guys are not going to be able to see this, but you guys should be able to hear it when I'm done here. You should be able to use a ratchet. If not, Use a smaller wrench and you'll just have to take your time. All right, we're down to the last last bolt here, our last nut. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on this on this one right here. This one's gonna be a little bit a little bit tight to get to. Because of that vent. If you were doing non-functional vents, you'd have all the room in the world. Tightening that up, got that tight. And now all we have to do is we've got to put our, our little clip here into the frame right here. And we've got one screw, one seven millimeter screw under the bottom. So we're gonna do that next. All right guys, we're underneath the car now. We're gonna be putting in this seven millimeter screw into here that's locking the vent in place. And then we also have the, uh, the little tab right here. Uh, if I can see it, I'll get out from underneath there and we'll put it in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tighten this one down. Okay. All right. Then at that point, I need to come out from underneath the car a little bit. And go ahead, if I can get my head out of the way, 
and we've got our we've got our vent right here. You can see right here. I'm gonna go push it right up. It lines up right up with the, the uh, factory hole. I'm gonna put our little little clip in there, retainer clip, and push it in. Okay, so now we are completely secure here. So now the only thing else we have to do is we're gonna take our our uh, inner liner here, our fender liner, and get it down here. We're gonna have to trim this. Okay. And so you just what you're wanting to do is you want to make sure that you can you can trim it where it's just um, you know it's, this way you can get get this vent free and clear so we can put the factory one in. We're just going to take this little guy. Kind of want to see where it's going to go. Looks like it's going to be about right there. I guess I should have John cutting this right since it's his car. Like that, and we can start tucking that back into the body area here. And we'll have to cut this little clip off right here, this little tab, because of the vent that we we already put in there. Okay, so we're just going to cut this little guy off. We're going to cut this. He just handed me some scissors. And we're gonna give this a try. This stuff is really thick, so I don't know if the scissors will actually cut it or not. Yeah, it does not too bad. Terry, your scissors might not work after this, but anything you can work with never <laughs> works after that. Alright guys, so that's what you got there, okay? So now we're just gonna go ahead. Um, and we're going to put another 7 millimeter screw in there. So then guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our 7 millimeter screw in there. Okay. And we're done with that. That's all tucked away. Alright. These little guys go just like right up here like this. And you can see here that this bolt just literally goes up through there like this, but you can use an extension here to get to it, okay? And it goes right, uh, where is it at here? That, and I don't know if the camera can see it, but there's a screw hole right, right there. So you can see right there, there's another screw. You might have to adjust this just a little bit. Terry's moving it around for me here. Just like that. And the threads are kind of deep in there, so you want to make sure you get it started first. And then you can go ahead and tighten it up. Okay. one right here and there you go so we're all done with it it's completely mounted all we got to do is put the wheel back on and we're done all right guys hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you learned how to do this and that you're not afraid to do it yourself um, there is a lot of work to this granted um, so it, if you follow the instructions, you follow what we did, you're not going to have any problems doing it. So um, I think it's a great addition to the car. There, are, When you look on the website, when you go to acscomposite.com, uh, you can go ahead and look for, I think it's under brake vents, um, and you'll see them. Uh, they, they have them, like I said, in a functional and non-functional version. And they also, for some cars or some colors, they also have them already... Uh, already painted for you to match your car. Guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching. 
if you guys have not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you'll be alerted of our next uploads. And if you like the video today, please hit the like button and leave a comment. I would love to be able to hear what you think about these. Um, and we'll just uh, we'll go from there. Guys, thank you again for watching. And you guys have a great night. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit like on the video and make sure you subscribe.